Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing part one of my Easter collection, the Easter basket. You will need a stitch marker, a sewing needle, a four millimeter crochet hook, some multicolored yarn and some plain colored yarn. So let's get started. We'll need to do a magic ring and then put six single crochets into that magic ring. We'll now do two single crochets in each stitch. Two single crochets. And then single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll do that six times. Three single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next two. And we'll do that six times. We'll do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next three. We'll do that six times. We'll do two single crochets in the next stitch Single crochet in the next four. And we'll do that six times. We'll now do two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next five. We'll do that six times. We're now going to do two single crochets on the next stitch. Single crochet in the next six. And we'll do that six times. We'll do two single crochets in the next stitch and single crochet in the next seven we'll do that six times We'll now do two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next eight. We'll do that six times.
So we've now finished making the base of the basket. We're now going to go into the back loops and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around just in the back loops. Okay, we're now just going to do three rows, single crocheting in each stitch all the way around. Okay, now we're in the last stitches of the three rows. We're now going to change the colour in this last stitch here. So we'll get our multicoloured yarn and then we'll just finish off that stitch there. So now we'll chain three and now we're going to double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch yarn over, pull through and we'll go through two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull through two and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So this part I'm going to slow it down for you, it's going to be a cluster stitch. So we're going to chain three and we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert in the first chain, we'll yarn over again and pull through and then we'll yarn over and pull through two. Then we'll yarn over and again insert into the first chain. We'll yarn over and pull through. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through two. There should be three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Okay. So now we're going to skip a stitch and then we're going to double crochet three together. So we'll yarn over, insert into the first hook, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to pull through two loops, yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and again so in the third one, yarn over, pull through two. There should be four loops on the hook. We'll yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, and now again for the cluster stitch, we'll chain three. We'll yarn over and then go back into that first chain. And we'll pull through two. And again, yarn over into that same stitch there. Pull up, pull through two, and then pull through three. Okay, and we're going to continue this all the way around. So skipping a stitch, doing the double crochet three together, then the cluster stitch on top, just all the way around. It is called a lucky stripe pattern. So you'll be able to find this on various patterns. Um, I love this stitch because it has a sort of cross symbol to it, a cross look to it, which I thought was quite fitting for Easter. And we're going to do this all the way round and um, we'll speed this part up. If you need to rewind and look at the slowed version especially, just to familiarise yourself with the pattern, please do take your time. Okay, now we've come to the end of that row. We're just going to slip stitch in the gap of the cluster stitch that we've did the first time round. We're going to chain three. And in that same gap in the cluster stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, we're now going to chain one. And then we'll find the gap in the next cluster. We're going to do three double crochets into that gap. Okay, and then we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat this another 14 times.
okay so in that last chain one we're now going to find the first stitch of the double crochet and we'll slip stitch into that but in slip stitching we're also going to return to the original color so we're going to pull through as a slip stitch there okay so we're now going to single crochet all the way around in the next three rows okay now we've done those three rows we're now going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way around okay and we're just going to tie off here okay and you can see the lovely cross detail there or the lucky stripe detail as the pattern is called now you've made the basket we can now make the handle okay so we'll start with a slip knot and we'll chain four we're now going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and now we'll single crochet in the next two we'll chain one and turn our work we'll then single crochet in the next three chain one Turn our work, and we're going to do that 35 times. Okay, once that's completed, we're going to single crochet all around the handle. So we'll find the stitches just along the side where the chain ones were. Just evenly space them. Okay, and as we come to the end, we'll do the last few single crochets and then we'll finish off with a slip stitch just here. Then we'll tie off our work. Okay, so keeping that part of the yarn, you could trim all the other excess parts of the yarn at this point. Okay, so now we can find that end part of the row and join it there so it sort of merges in. We'll sew that on there. Once that's attached, we can use that as a marker. We'll count 30 round of the 60 stitches so that we can get it almost exactly in the middle. Okay, so we'll attach that there. And there you have your Easter basket ready to be filled with as many eggs as you can find. I really hope you enjoyed part one of my Easter collection. I've got four more to come. And if you want to be notified when any more of my videos are released, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons to be notified when they do. You can also follow me on Instagram at Karina Jane Crochet to see what I am making and some of my up and coming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.